You know, companies like Apple, every time when they release their new iPhone every year, they say, we got this brilliant time-lapse function and so on. But if you think about it, unless you have this brilliant, very expensive flagship phone that is purely dedicated uh, for time-lapse only as a spare, or if you're prepared to not use that smartphone for at least half of the day up to several days, that is pretty much a gimmick. So that's why I think companies like uh, Atli actually saw the gap in the market and came up with this brilliant product called Eon, which is a time-lapse camera. So if we quickly run through the details of what it can do, it has a full HD time-lapse, obviously, because it has a very good camera, uh, powerful Atli cam app control. So you can use the app to control the actual camera and the real time playback as well so you can check on it and then monitor it and then you know and so on which is really good and that's pretty much the way forward isn't it the seven centimeters macro which basically means is that you can do close-up sort of things it's, so it's not only uh, designed to actually do long range but also close-up uh, time um, time lapse as well the photo sequences as well is that you can do several photos um, and then you can control it and decide uh, which one is the best out of the several time and so on now this is the really important one which is the time slice uh, is that you can actually get up to so from 8 to 150 slices of this whole duration of your you know while you do the time last and this is the brilliant image that you get um and that, that's so cool actually so you can see from the morning to the afternoon and then evening of this time lapse of this brilliant building right in the middle now obviously this has to be the long lasting uh, battery capacity as well so it can last up to six days without a single charge so that's very good we all know that's you know smartphone will run out within a day and obviously we can um connect it to a solo power charger so that it could provide power so yeah that's a logical approach and a flexible schedule as well and a multi-camera control and infrared because you know like sometimes you don't know you're not really sure how you're going to get the actual uh, brightness and so on so this infrared technology will help you to get into that and the manual focus as well sometimes smartphones for example i uh, think they're too it's too smart trying to let it control by itself but you can do a manual focus as well and lastly a built-in ftp service as well so enough said let's get into the unboxing of this product so here it goes okay so nice um so that's how it looks <laughs> nice that's how it looks like um i can see that that's for the um, memory card slot and then you can I don't know whether you can see a 3d effect of Atli but it's flat here so it's actually covered transparent that's for the camera um, attachment and that's for the go ahead photo but there's no other thing than that that I can see immediately obviously I think this is for the indication light saying that it's recording maybe or maybe that one we'll find out anyhow, anyhow. Also, it comes with the default of 16 gigabytes. I don't know whether you can see that. A 16 gigabyte SD memory card. And also, you can manually move this thing around as well. So zoom in and zoom out, I think. This seems to be um, a special lens, actually. Uh, okay. So that's quite interesting. Yeah, so this is the camera stand, which yeah good quality usb-c cable ah okay this is the protective case all right so that is quite an interesting screw so pull okay <laughs> that was cute and we got all the this is for the document isn't it carefully don't damage it these are all the like cards Booklets, booklets of how to use it. So I need to revise that. Nice sticker. Another transparent sticker. Cool. And the actual battery. Okay, that's quite big actually for the size of the camera itself, you know. So to set it up on my own interpretation, I 
you know this edge you just need to pull it out and it'll come out quite easily what is the battery capacity here right so that is a 2050 milliamp hour no wonder why it was a big battery so that's really good that's the strength of the um, eon here so that will be going which way is it this way yeah so that's all nicely slot in and then you close it now what you need to do also is make sure you put in these screws here that goes here and then you can screw it on top and this I didn't go on detail is a UV filter lens so that you just slot in there and stretch that out and that's pretty much it that's very cute look at that so if you actually go to the Atli um, cam app you just need to click and to connect so it will actually show you uh, which sort of device is available so we got the at least so this has already been set up but I just wanted to show you how to actually uh, do things if you see what I mean so you click on the actual main uh, box now you'll be able to see my face moving about now so the menu is that if you look at the top right there's HDR if you click on it you could do uh, time-lapse photo or video so I've been doing time-lapse mainly and um, this is if you click on the next one which says at Lee with a square and a pole basically you can actually customize how to position it because of the angle you got to get it right um, also on the a circle on the top right you can actually choose what sort of settings there are so there's auto cloud cityscape flower star and etc so if you go back to that when you actually press the time lapse and then on the bottom center over there, there's a circle right so if you click on that you can actually choose customize what sort of interval you want to go for this is something i made a mistake initially i actually put 24 hours interval which is very stupid thing to do so basically it was taking photo of every one every single 24 hours basically which was uh, very bad you can actually set the duration as well but if for me i've actually done for the um, sky uh, recording clip for about every um, eight seconds and for the um, for the flower that I'm going to show to you soon was every 10 minutes which I actually found online which would be the ideal setting so that's what I've been doing and it took ages for me to do the flowering one but just to show you an example of what I have actually achieved so far is that if you go to the camera um, there are the so the first one is the 24 hours of photo so it managed to get about 710 as you can see here in the middle of the screen 710 photos and what you can do is you can actually customize um, what sort of photo um, sequence okay so the time slash is what where we are at the moment so you can see that 710 photos are arranged on the top of the screen and you can actually decide how many slices so you can actually scroll up and down I think for me about 100 slices is quite good so you can actually reload it and then basically if you think that some of the clips are too dark you can actually choose on the top uh, of the menu of scrolling getting rid of the dark side and only the bit where actually the morning starts and when it when the sun goes down kind of 91 uh, of the clips uh, so you can actually check on that and then you basically press which one whichever actually pattern you want to go for actually like the third one um, from the bottom of the uh, settings and then you press start basically and that's all good to go so these are the results I got from so this is the first one I like that the second one is actually feels like it's raining so I'm not really happy with that but I, I think the first one will be quite cool if you actually manage to get a tall building as how I shown on the beginning of the video now um, regards to the main bit which is the time lapse is that this is the first clip which I believe was the one with the watermarks on it yes so you can see that the cloud is really moving quickly it's so cool I love that um, so let me actually show it to you in a longer sort of a period of it with a bit of a music on
Now the next one is the um, that's actually the sunrise actually sorry and I just thought it would be quite cool to see how it looks like from where I live of the sunrise and that's also pretty cool as well so you can see the sun actually moving in and I think I notched the clock the camera a bit on the right so that the sun yeah there you go and you can see a bit of a pigeon and then it's moving along this is what took me ages so I've been filming about um, about a week uh, to see how my plant the flower is blossoming but you will see that it actually um, starts it actually has interval of brightness and then dark because I don't I didn't actually constantly um, you know put a light on so you'll see that light goes on off and you can see the plants is actually slightly moving towards the sun and then actually walks like heads back again when it's dark and um, yeah unfortunately the flower that I thought was going to blossom any moment it didn't so I just wanted to share with you that clip of um, how this so you, this is a close-up version, which is very important. I want to emphasize. So you can also do close-up and also the, you know, the far um, distance away cloud sort of thing as well. So I hope this sort of um, demonstration show you how cool this device is. So what do I think about this Atli um, time lapse camera? Yeah, because um, it makes a lot of sense. Again, what I said from the beginning of the video is that um, what do you do? when you actually need your original phone when you also want to film the time lapse at the same time because time lapse um, effect is quite important a lot of people are using it nowadays and it looks so cool um, but unless you actually have a spare phone you won't be really be able to record in a long period of time well this one i've been actually checking out for almost two weeks now and um yes as it says if you actually put it onto the super a bat save a battery saver mode it will last for pretty much i think at least three or four days that I, I i could think of it could go up to six days but at the same time if you're actually concerned about it you can actually plug into your battery and then charge it at the same time and record it much longer as well um, i love the quality as well especially i know it's a very strange thing to say but actually the tripod because the tripod is so well settled and it's high quality you can actually easily adjust the height of it even if you put it to almost to the top it's stable normally i would expect the tripod to actually you know lose its strength when it actually goes too high up um, almost to the top of almost like unfold this position but this one was very useful indeed you'll be surprised how much of a difference the tripod with this sort of function actually make when you actually film time lapse and and so on also i really love the fact that you can actually check in the middle of it one when you do the time lapse because you want to make sure you're filming in the right position and right moment and that's why you, could, you actually found out early on that i actually nudged um, my camera so that the sun could actually be in the center of the focus when I was doing time lapse it's very useful you can actually do that those sort of um, middle sort of um, process of how well the time lapse is performing and so on so I'm very satisfied with it the quality is really good the experience was you know is, is really good more you actually use it you actually appreciate the quality of this product indeed then I think it's quite very well justifiable that it's actually 200 US dollars and so on. So I'll definitely recommend it, especially you don't need to buy another thousand pound flagship phone to be able to get a good quality time-lapse. You just need to get the Atli um, time-lapse camera. So I hope this video actually helped you understand how this works. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.